Hey guys, it's Alex again. I am so excited for this project. This is one of my all-time favorite projects to do. Um, it's caricatures, and I do this a lot with sixth grade, but really, I think we could make it work for any age group, but sixth grade loves it, and I love teaching it, and I'm so excited to do it for you today. Um, it's kind of a longer project, but I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna try and keep it to one video, but I have a feeling it's gonna be two videos, so make sure you catch part two because I don't think I can get it all into one video. Um, but I'm very excited today. We're gonna start with materials, things that you need. We need a white piece of paper, like always, okay? A pencil, you guys know I like mechanical pencil, but you can use whatever works best for you. Um, a marker, like always. And again, you can use whatever kind works best for you. And then colored pencils, again, any kind will do, okay? All right. So let's get started guys, I'm excited. Okay guys, so here's my white piece of paper. I'm gonna start with my pencil today. We're gonna do quite a bit of drawing before we do anything with the marker or the color pencils, okay? So with a caricature, the head is gonna be half of your paper and the body is gonna be half of your paper. So the head and the body are the same size, which makes it a cartoon because usually your head is a lot smaller than your body. We're gonna start by drawing the oval shape of the head. Now. This doesn't have to be perfect, guys, so don't stress out. Usually I just go really lightly and I just keep going in circles until I like the shape. Once I like the shape, I can stop. It fills half of my paper and I still have room down here for my body. Okay, so now we're zoomed in on the face only. and We're gonna work on the face. Um, we're gonna start by drawing a line really lightly that goes up the middle of the face like this. That's the middle of the face. That's gonna help us Draw the eyes, nose, and mouth. So the first line is gonna be up here, and this is where our eyes are gonna go. Then down just a little bit more, we're gonna draw a line for where the nose is gonna go. And then down just a little bit further, this is where the mouth is gonna go. So let's start with the eyes. This is where the eyes are gonna go, and the eyes are usually shaped oval we're going to draw the top of the eye above the line and the bottom of the eye below the eye line so let me do that really quick and then i'll show you what it looks like again because this is a cartoon we are going to make everything bigger than normal our side guys so now i have two oval shaped eyes and you can decide what shape to make them, if you wanna make them more rounded, whatever, whatever you wanna do. Next, I usually add eyelids. Eyelids are very easy to do. You're just going to add another line like that. Okay, now we need to do the eyeballs. And if at any time, guys, you're falling behind, just stop the video, pause the video, do the step, and then keep working. No pressure, there's no rush. Okay, so take your time. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is draw the eyeballs, which is just drawing the circle inside the eye. Like that. And then inside the eyeball, we draw the the black circle, the pupil, and usually I make that pretty big. Like that. Okay, now this is where you have an option. You can make it look girly or you can make it look more like a boy. Because mine is me, I'm going to add some eyelashes. So again, because it's a cartoon, Make those eyelashes big and beautiful. Pretty funny. I love it. Now above the eyes, we're gonna add some eyebrows if you'd like. And eyebrows are pretty easy. You're just gonna add very simple, like that. Nothing too dark. We just want it to be very simple above the eyes. Okay, so now we're gonna work on the nose. There's a lot of different ways to do the nose. One of my favorite noses, though, is very simple. So your nose 
is gonna be right here where these two lines cross. See right here? That's gonna be kind of like the, the point or the ball of your nose. So let me show you one that I love and it's very simple to do. You're gonna start, I don't know, about halfway up here. And you're going to come down and you're gonna draw that rounded part of the nose and then it kind of hooks up a little bit, like that. And then next to that, you're gonna draw the nostril. And then the other side of the nostril. That's one of the favorites when my sixth graders make them is that nose right there. If you'd like to, you can extend this up to your eyebrow like that. So we're going to do just a very simple mouth. You can do whatever kind of mouth you would like. I'm going to draw very simple. If you want to attach these to that lip like that, perfect. So now once you have your eyes, nose, and mouth done, you can go back and erase those other lines that we drew in the beginning that you don't need anymore, and then you'll be able to see how great your face looks. You can make adjustments at any time. Anything that doesn't look quite right, go ahead and change it. Okay, so I adjusted the shape of her face just a little bit, just to give it a little bit more of a look, um, I guess like me, because I'm drawing myself. So I'm just kind of giving her some cheeks and maybe bringing her chin to more of a point. And now she needs hair. So we're gonna go ahead and do some hair. When I draw hair, I just do the outline of the hair because I don't want it to be too much, too busy. And we are gonna color these in with colored pencil. So just the outline of the hair. I'm gonna show you how to do girls' hair. And then I'll flip my paper over and do some boys' hair so you guys have examples of both. So, for girls, I usually start with the front of the hair, the bangs or whatever it is, the side part. So for my hair, I usually take some hair and I drag it over like that. And then I take the other side like that. And then you come up to the top of the head, up at the top, and you're gonna draw the hair, pretty exaggerated so it's big and fluffy. And then I give her zigzag hair at the bottom. Then I can add some little accent lines if I want to, to give it a little bit, just to give it a little bit more, um, something interesting to look at. Okay, so there's her hair. So now I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over and show you guys how to do boy hair. Boy's hair can be tricky, so we're gonna start again with the front of the hair, and we're literally just gonna do zigzags. Then on top of the hair, you're gonna do some more zigzags. Like that. And then you've got boy hair and you can erase this line that goes through the hair. And then you've got boy hair. I went ahead and added ears, which are just very simple shapes. Nothing too detailed. And then I added some hoop earrings, just drawing like the letter C on both sides. Add a bow, you can add a hat, you can add whatever you'd like um, to your picture. You can add freckles, anything that makes it look more like the person you're trying to draw. Now we're gonna move down to the body. Um, the first thing you're gonna draw is this neck shape. Make it pretty tiny. We don't want it to be too big. 